darlings, welcome to Dubai. Ladies, today I bring you with me to my trip to Dubai. I was lucky enough to be able to stay one month here and discover everything in this incredible city. And I stayed in the most gorgeous hotel I have ever seen, Raffles the Palm, Dubai. It is so luxurious. I have never seen a hotel that beautiful. It is like old Hollywood glamour paradise on earth. Every morning we had a beautiful big breakfast at the VIP lounge of the hotel, amazing omelette, avocado, I have a little bit of obsession with avocado as you know, <laughs> mushrooms, green tea, salad, fruits, bread, croissant, everything that I adore and it was so delicious, oh my god. And waking up and having breakfast with this gorgeous view, feeling the sun on your skin is just paradise. This hotel is breathtaking. Look, this is just paradise on earth because you know how much I love all the Hollywood and this is like my aesthetic. I took so many beautiful gorgeous dresses to match with that aesthetic so it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna live my dream of being an old Hollywood star. So here is the room. You have the bathroom. Gorgeous, oh my god the gold everywhere stunning 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 and the sink everything all marble really big with the chandelier it's very old hollywood you have the shower here and then you have the bathtub with again this gorgeous gorgeous mirror it's just absolutely breathtaking wait until you see the room oh my god are you ready oh my god wait what what oh my god i still get not i'm not used to it i still i'm still not used to it this is absolutely breathtaking gorgeous oh my god look at this this is vintage old hollywood castle it's like Versailles. This hotel is absolutely breathtaking. If you come to Dubai, you have to take this hotel. The chandelier, the top, the ceiling, the details. And then as you can see, it's a duplex. <gasps> wow. Here you have the living room. And here you have the desk. You have the TV with the counter and some little snacks if you want. And then you have the gorgeous stairs with those breathtaking mirrors. Oh my God. This is way too gorgeous. <gasps> Look at this. And you climb up the stairs. Hello. You have another mirror. And then you have the gorgeous bed. Breathtaking, beautiful old Hollywood. Oh my God. <laughs> I want my house to look like this. This is like, oh. You can see the high ceilings. This is just <laughs> absolutely breath breathtaking. And then you have gorgeous bed, silver, old Hollywood princess. You have this. And then you have breathtaking wardrobe like that. 
so you have a walk-in closet and you also have a wardrobe like that so where you can put all of your stuff in it I love those details on the wardrobe it's it's gorgeous I want a wardrobe like that and then you have a little vanity here where you can do your makeup and everything and I'm going to go to the beach now so oh, I love those pillows ah the pillows can I take them home <laughs> can I take everything home oh my gosh this is so elegant I've never seen a hotel that elegant it is the most beautiful hotel I've ever seen in my life <laughs> And then you also have the view outside, of course, and the balcony. Oh my gosh, <gasps> look at this gorgeous view. So I'm gonna go to the beach now and just enjoy and relax. Then we decided to go to the beach and relax, have fun on the beach, which is absolutely amazing, tanning. You know, I'm so tanned actually right now that it is quite shocking. I think I've never been that tanned. The pool and the beach had this amazing, elegant decor, baroque, with the view of the breathtaking hotel, just stunning. And the gardens of the hotel were incredible as well just perfect to take some videos some pictures of my dresses you know how much i love doing that <laughs> it is the most elegant hotel you feel like you are in versailles <laughs> also every day to have tea in the tea salon which had the biggest chandelier in the world and all of the gold on the ceiling was actually real gold this is amazing oh my gosh they explained that to us that it is actually real gold leaf on the top of the ceiling the red the gold the baroque decor you know, my room is all gold and baroque, so this hotel is exactly my taste. I feel like a true princess every day, putting on my dresses, and all of the employees were just adorable, just magical, like a fairy tale. Every day I put on a different dress and go to this magnificent ballroom, and I feel so precious, so beautiful in this incredible decor. Then at night, I get ready for dinner and I'm wearing this gorgeous orange silk dress, very elegant and romantic, with nice gold shoes and gold jewelry. I have a passion for jewelry, just like our Queen Elizabeth Taylor, ladies. The next day, we are going to the Dubai Mall to see the fountains and the Burj Khalifa. The Dubai Mall is the biggest mall in Dubai, so it has every single brand. I have never seen so many brands. You have luxury brands, but you also have middle range brands, affordable brands, brands from London, Paris, and all over the world. You have a lot of choices and you can literally stay there forever, shopping for hours. It is so, so big. Oh, wow. This is massive. And then of course you have the gorgeous view of the Burj Khalifa with the blue water of the fountain. I love this area. It is called downtown and it is very green and I prefer this area rather than the marina in my opinion. Everybody says that they prefer the marina but downtown is very nice.
Burj Khalifa as you can see and we just saw the fountains and here is also the Dubai mall it's the biggest mall in Dubai inside the Dubai mall you also have this giant fountain everything in Dubai is big and impressive I have to say and I was just walking around with my polka dot dress in Dubai you have to cover a little bit more so you have to wear something longer and something with more sleeves in certain area just to be a bit more modest to be a bit more respectful of the culture Ooh, ladies the shopping look at those dresses oh my god seriously I regret not trying them on because they're just spectacular they are made for a ball, for the red carpet. I think this is art. Look at this one. Look at this dress. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I was in heaven, I have to say. In the Dubai mall, you have also an aquarium. Yes, in the mall, you have a giant aquarium. <laughs> With, each other. with tons of different animals and we went to visit which was very fun and they even had a crocodile yes oh hello yes, honey yes. you come to me you come to me <laughs> The next day we were relaxing on the beach of course so what I was doing is I was doing one day visit and one day relaxation at the beach because I also needed some relaxation some sun and also enjoy the hotel because it is not every day that you are in a hotel like this Darlings, let's go to a safari now in the desert. Oh my god, the desert is so beautiful. This is definitely something that you have to do if you go to Dubai. I wore an all white outfit and oh my god, admire this beauty of nature. The next night, we also went to this restaurant for dinner called The Billionaire. They had a show and excellent food. Hello, beautiful ladies. Look at where I am. This is so beautiful. I'm in the Miracle Garden in Dubai and this is absolutely breathtaking. This is the spot that you have to be in. I'm all in flowers like a princess and you feel like a princess here. I even bought those little flowers in my head. It's so feminine. It's the most feminine place. <sighs> I love it. I love this place. Oh my god, the ballerinas. <gasps> ballerinas the dancers this is so stunning and they put the music of Beauty and the Beast and the Sleeping Beauty and all of the princesses oh my god look at this lady what is she doing <laughs> oh wow she's floating she's a queen <laughs> what is this Oh, this is so fun! The Miracle Garden in Dubai is this giant floral garden, very impressive. 
very feminine. It is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen and I truly recommend it. I took some stunning pictures and I had such a nice day feeling my feminine energy around flowers. Another day, another safari. <laughs> this time with the camel in the desert. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're so cute. I felt like I was in a movie. Then we also had dinner in a very typical tent. Beautiful Emirati meal. Delicious food. I have to say that Wow, Emirati food is really good. I think this is one of the best experience I had. So unique and I feel like an Arabian princess. What do you want? Do you want some tea? Do you want some water? Next night, I wore this beautiful floral satin dress for a special dinner. We went to the Burj Al Arab. Yes, <laughs> this is the most luxurious hotel in Dubai and I think the most luxurious hotel in the world because they're very famous for being seven star hotel. So you cannot enter the hotel without being a client, which is crazy. <laughs> this hotel is like another level. The dinner was fine dining, delicious food, great view, and like it was so romantic, very romantic setting. There are aquariums and fountains inside the hotel. Yes, <laughs> it's crazy. I was really impressed by the decor, more modern than my hotel, but still beautiful. But I personally still prefer the decor of my hotel, which is the Raffles, you know, more vintage, old Hollywood. But the Burj Al Arab is just still iconic. Of course, we had to go to the Expo 2020, the famous expo that only happened every five years in different countries. Is an intricate polyphony of electrical signals between the brain neurons. This year, it happened in Dubai and it was enormous. Oh my God, so many things to see. All of the countries of the world were represented and every country had their own building. It is impossible to see them all. But I tried to see as much as possible. We saw France, of course, my country, UK, Russia, Thailand, Israel, Italy, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Sweden, and so much more. And I have to say, Saudi Arabia was really impressive with what they had to show. What is that? Oh my god. Looks like a giant bowl. Tonight, I decided to take some pictures in the hotel with this magnificent, magnificent dress. And ladies, I think this is truly one of my favorite dress. And this dress goes very, very well with the glamorous decor of the hotel. So glorious and gold. I love it. Then we went have dinner on the top of the Burj Khalifa, the highest tower in the world, which make this restaurant the highest restaurant in the world. <music> Dubai is just magical at night. Of course, we had to visit the gold souk, very famous for the extravagance and such big amount of gold. It was the biggest jewelry you have ever seen in your life. Everything is big in Dubai. 
gold and diamonds absolutely everywhere ladies this is paradise i suggest that you come with your husband or your boyfriend here <laughs> Here's the crown for the queen. Oh wow! He seems to have gold glasses and just a bra made of gold and just jewelry <laughs> on your face and a crown and shoes. Oh wow, shoes and a purse. You even have a purse made of gold. The last day we just wanted to relax and enjoy the sun and I decided to wear this beautiful floral dress for dinner. I just had a delicious Italian dinner in the restaurant of the hotel which was called Piatti. Absolutely marvelous with the view on the beach and the view of Dubai. Very romantic setting and absolutely delicious food. It's magical at night. This trip was really nice and I think I have seen everything that is nice to see in Dubai. It is a place to do in your life and the amount of extravagance and luxury here is very impressive. It is such a unique place and I'm so happy to have been able to have this experience and I'm so happy to share it with you my darlings. I think the thing that I preferred in Dubai is definitely this hotel. I would come back just for this hotel. It is almost like you're traveling with me and I hope I can give you back some joy through those videos to thank you because you're giving me so much love and joy every day. Thank you so much for watching my darlings. I love you so much and stay fabulous. Kisses. Mwah.